For a time, Avenatti was a fixture on cable TV and Twitter, but federal prosecutors say he threatened to use all that media access to hurt the athletic company's reputation and try and drive down its stock price if the company didn't pay up. Look, I mean, we're going to continue to use the media. I think we've used it with great success. He's Donald Trump's worst nightmare, Michael <laughs> Avenatti. Joining us once again is Michael Avenatti. Let's bring in Michael Avenatti. Michael Avenatti. Michael Avenatti. Michael Avenatti, thank you very much. He's out there saving the <laughs> Look, country. It, it, Don Meacham says he may be the savior of the republic. You are something of a folk hero now. I think we've used it with great success. I owe Michael Avenatti an apology. I've been saying enough already, Michael. I've seen you everywhere. What do you have left to say? I was wrong, brother. You have a lot to say. I uh, am just dying to hear what you think. These people all like you. He threatened to use all that media access to hurt the athletic company's reputation. The Democrats could learn something for you. Michael Avenatti is laying down the law as guest co-host. And is he really thinking about running for president? Uh, one reason why I'm taking you seriously as a contender is because of your presence on cable news. I think we've used it with great success. You look at the field of Democrats right now, and Avenatti's the one who stands out. If they decide they value a fighter most, yes. people would be foolish to underestimate yeah. Michael Avenatti. A jury found him guilty of attempting to extort millions of dollars from Nike by threatening to go public with claims that the shoe company was illegally paying high school basketball players. Nike denied that claim and said today, the verdict speaks volume. Look, I mean, we're going to continue to use the media. I think we've used Used it with great success. Avenatti has been held behind bars since January for violating his bail conditions. His attorneys say he's reportedly in the same solitary confinement cell that held El Chapo, the Mexican drug lord. They say he's being treated like a caged animal. But all of, all, all of my sexual fantasies involve handcuffs. Oh. Oh.